looks than swift. Pakistan versus Afghanistan with both teams needing to respond to defeats to Australia and New Zealand respectively in their last encounters and they meet at the Chepauk where Afghanistan have had a few days to just dwell on things after going down at that venue to uh, New Zealand and Pakistan must pick themselves up after the defeat to uh, Australia. So Cheteshwar Pujara and Shane Bond with me on Maruti Suzuki Arena presents ESPN Rigan for Match Day. Uh, we're going to talk about the bowling units here because they are contrasting Bondi. Spin heavy Afghanistan, pace heavy Pakistan but can they change that up going into this game at the Chepok looking at how their spin hasn't quite been as effective? No, I don't think they will. I think they'll rely on those their three main seamers who will be really effective on Chepok anyway. Mm. I think they just need more out of their other spin bowlers, a little bit more consistency. And really the only question would be, would Shadab Khan come back yes. into the team for me? Would he for you? I would. I'd bring him back in for Nawaz. I'd play the two league spinners. I think you might as well. You'd pick the attacking options. You get leadership back in your team, a great fielder and a batsman. So I think in terms of the balance of their team, I think it would be better. I mean, those numbers there, uh, 91 is Nawaz's average in 2023. He's just not had the impact in ODI cricket. Shadab going at 65 plus. But is there a case for both leggies uh, to I play would, in this game? I would, would still continue with uh, their initial combination of Shadab and Nawaz rather mm -hmm. than, you know, experimenting with that because both can bat, both has the experience uh, and you need a little more experience when you're playing World Cup games. So that's where I feel that both the spinners need to continue. I mean, I thought that was a mistake in the last mm -hmm. game where yeah. they experimented because now Shadab will be out of confidence because they have dropped him. But I still feel they need to bring him back. All right. Now, you just compare the pace and spin units. Uh, you've spoken about the spinners. But as far as the pacers go, Pakistan have the edge, obviously. We should look at the <laughs> way they've played. And on the other hand, Fazal Farooqi, Naveen ul -Haq, they've not had the kind of impact we thought they might have in these conditions. They are talented bowlers. They played IPL cricket, Bondi. They're not quite having They're not quite having the World Cup we thought they did. Why is that? Uh, I think Faruqi's a swing bowler, swings the ball both ways, but there just hasn't been a lot of movement for him. And I think he's done a reasonable job at the other end, partly partnered, partnering Majib. Um, Naveen, again, bowling those middle overs is tough in one-day cricket, and he's yeah. been a tidy enough job. So, look, at the end of the day, I think Faruqi and Naveen, are, their wickets are almost bonus wickets, but the bulk of the success is going to have to come out of Majib and Rashid in particular. Yeah, from... What you I, yes, please. I think I agree with what Bondi is saying because Afghanistan, they have played their cricket where the spinners have taken majority of the wickets and that's how they know what their strengths are. So their seamers have to play the supporting role and then you can't expect uh, them to be the leaders. Uh, mm. I mean, they can't be the strike bowlers. They have to know, that, I mean, they know their limitations, but they play within their limitations yeah, as well. It's a familiar opposition here where they have Gran Pakistan closed recently. Uh, what is their best chance though? I was a bit surprised when they won the toss and put New Zealand in the other day. Yeah, that was a bad decision. If the wicket stays the same, they have to win the toss and bat. And I think 250 would be a challenging score. They've got to find a way. Pakistan have dominated them. I don't think they've ever lost. So if they can get 250 with the pressure of Pakistan, have, they have to win this game. Then then Afghanistan, if they do win, are back in the, yeah. are back in the competition. I mean, that's how they did beat England. They got an above pass score yeah. batting first. Uh, and that was when Josh Butler had put them in. So that remains their best chance against I Pakistan? I think so, because when they are chasing, they are under a bit of pressure. Uh, then you're looking at the strike rate or the scoring rate, and then you, most of their batters are struggling a bit. And if they are batting first, they know that they can take a little more time, and that's when they have been batting well. Pakistan still as favourites or prediction yeah, that they uh, should win this or are we going to get another one? I think upset? they should win. They should be too good for Afghanistan. Would I you? think Pakistan should win, and considering... England has lost yesterday and they've lost badly. Yeah. Pakistan has a chance to qualify for the semis and they will be looking forward to this yeah, game. That result might mm -hmm. then spur them on. Yep. All right. Thank you to Shane Vaughan and Chiteshwar Pujara. Pakistan versus Afghanistan is the fixture in Chennai on Monday in the ICC Men's Cricket World Cup. This was Maruti Suzuki Arena presents ESPN Cricket Info Match Day. Stunning looks than swift.